hey everyone, my name is Nathan Jones, and if you're new here, welcome. I like to talk about all things movies, specifically Blu-rays, and today's an exciting one. I have done a few things around the home because, uh, if you didn't know, uh, recently, about a month and a half ago now, uh, that's how long it's been, uh, my roof was hit by my tree in the backyard because there was a huge storm that happened, uh, and so it kind of damaged my movie room. Uh, luckily nothing was like harmed except for like, you know, the attic and some of the floorboard uh, and some of the walls and then like the, the top of the ceiling. So, but anyway, I had to remove everything out of this entire space. So um, the room behind me, uh, this is actually the closet that I'm in, um, where I had to take all these things out as well and uh, redo this whole thing. And so luckily I was able to redo the entire room um, and also redo the closet because uh, I, yeah, I just, it, I guess it got me into a creative mood and mindset and now I am back in the saddle uh, with things. And now, as you can see, a new aesthetic. I decided to face all of my movies box sets uh, out here. And so we're gonna be taking a little tour of that. We're gonna be taking a tour of this new space right here. Uh, we're gonna be doing that. And we're also gonna be exploring a new movie room. Um, fun fact, I did not put the movies back in the room behind me. I actually decided to downsize a little bit and put them in a smaller room. Which is kind of crazy if you think about it because obviously this is in a different space. But regardless, um, yeah, the, the space behind this is actually where I'm going to be living and I'll be just be putting a door here and that way I can jump in here when I need to. Uh, otherwise, it's, you know, uh, the, the actual room is in a side room. So we're going to explore that. So I'm going to show you kind of some of the footage of creating this entire thing and how it all came together. So I'm going to be showing you that first and then we're going to jump into kind of the tour of the entire thing. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, hopefully this gets me back and going. Uh, living in this chaos of what everything has been going the last month and a half has been absolutely insane. I just feel like I had nothing going for me in terms of uh, mental stability. Uh, just because of how many things were all over the place. And the weird living in a, a, a bunch of chaos can actually just really make things worse. So that's kind of what it's been like. My, my collection's been everywhere um, in all the rooms, literally every room of my house the movies have been in. Uh, so it's really nice to have finally a space where it feels clean. It feels much, you know, much more at home. And I, I'm very excited to showcase, um, yeah, this new space here behind me and then also my new movie room. So I hope you enjoy uh, this little content. I hope to be coming back uh, and jumping into things soon. So we're going to save all that stuff for the end. Let's uh, jump into the footage of the time of me reconstructing this space right here and in the new space. So I hope you enjoy it uh, and I will see you soon. Well, hey everyone, uh, this is a little bit of a break um, in this video. Uh, actually, this is a new movie room here. Um, wow, it's just, just it's so weird just having uh, you know two of these big shelves and then having these two little shelves here behind me. Uh, these these shelves I actually just bought uh, for twenty five dollars each, which is insane because uh, they're literally just as tall as me. 
pretty much. Actually, I think they're taller than me. So actually, I lied. <laughs> you know, a little bit taller than me and I'm six foot two. So, um, yeah, so I'm really excited about this. Uh, I'm really excited to show you showcase this new, uh, side of the collection and also the, the new closet as well. Uh, it's a lot of it, uh, is going to be uh, a lot of fun to watch. So, uh, hopefully you enjoyed as well. Uh, let me know what you think of the space. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you and do a little bit of more of a tour once it's all said and done. All right. So many of you know, this space right here, uh, I actually added a carpet, which is really nice, uh, and I actually did some stuff up here. So, uh, as you can kind of tell, I'll just briefly go into it. Um, this used to be a Criterion closet, and speaking of the Criterions, here they all are. I just kind of have some box sets kind of lift, listed out, and then I have some, you know, indicator titles here um, that are also some box sets. I just really love the pictures, and the fact that I can see them in full scope is actually really nice. Um, except for Bloody Terror, unfortunately, just not enough space. But as you can tell, I have some some love for some of these indicator sets quite a bit. Um, and then, you know, more Criterion as you jump in, some Second Sight stuff. Um, but yeah, I just really like this new space here. Uh, more indicator as we're going through stuff. And then we have just random odd job stuff. Just some of my favorite things that I have is Last Dance, The Thing, The Witch, In Bruges, uh, The Curzon Three Colors Trilogy, all the Hans BRs, The Four Trilogy. And some some miscellaneous huge box sets. Um, then we have some you know some random shout select uh, umbrella and second run. Then we have all the Lord of the Rings because you know those are the best best things out there. And then OJ made America. Then we have some big box sets down here like Bond, um, Friends, X Files, and then a little some box sets down here from Radiance. And then we also have a couple of BFI um, and Studio Canal stuff. So anyway. As we're going up, we're going over here. There's the Bergman set, followed by the Celine Sciamma um, from Plan Archive. And some Arrow box sets here that I really enjoy as well. I can also do the full picture of the Fassbender sets, which is really cool. Um, actually, that's actually the reason I, that inspired me a little bit here. And then there's the Giallo sets, uh, some noir classics, and then more Arrow stuff, more horror-based um, things here. As you can tell, all the way up until the Shout Select or Shout Factory Fly Collection, then some imprint films uh, box sets that I have, just a few of them. I don't have t terribly too many of them, and then I have some Eureka titles, some martial arts '88 films as well, Shout, Shout Factory, um, things like that. There's an Arrow box set, and a couple of other miscellaneous stuff, Severin related things, and then there are the Columbia Classic box sets, the Shaw Scope sets. And then on the bottom are some Kino Lorber sets that I have here. They're all just kind of spread out. As we go up here, we have the rest of the Criterion box sets. Uh, they're all kind of scattered a little bit here. Um, but as you also can tell, there's Friday the 13th box set up there. Um, and the Game of Thrones box sets up there. There's going to be huge box sets are going to be up here for the most part. So, but yeah, this is the new space here. And I'm really excited for it um, and to explore this a little bit more. Um, and yeah, just be in this space. So let's actually move on to the next room. All right, here we are. Open up the new space here. Got a new carpet, right? Let's see, how's the carpet compared to, oh, here's the space. And it got some more, just an aerial view of the whole thing. Some new bookshelves actually, which I'll talk about here in a second. That's just a random tour of the space itself right here which I'm very excited about as well, box sets. And then a couple of other things up there, and then as you can tell, there are new box, you know, new shelves here. So I'm, I'm excited. So anyway, where do we start? We start off over here, all right? Let's just start over with the A24 sets. I'm actually gonna be doing a whole long thing there. I, don't, I haven't figured out what I wanna put there in that space, but it's probably gonna be some of those plastic things. That way I can put things like this, like media notebooks and stuff like that. Um, steel books, of course, are right here, followed by 4Ks. Um, there's probably a glare here, but no, no rhyme or reason to go through this right now. Uh, we'll do complete collection stuff later on, the very beginning of next year. Uh, some Disney and animated things, anime um, shows that I enjoy, um, followed by you know some anime and then some A24 stuff and more steel books. And then this right here is actually the A uh, through Z. Uh, just collection that I have, just random miscellaneous stuff um, all the way down 
to the bottom to some random stuff that I haven't seen. So honestly, exploring all that is probably not ideal at the moment. <laughs> but anyway, as you can tell, um, it's very full. This is a very full shelf. So um, there's the, uh, like I said, the normal standard stuff, uh, 4Ks, steelbooks, anime, uh, animated films are all over here. So as we move over here, we have some box sets. Uh, I have a lot of just normal like Blu-ray and DVD box sets of different shows. And that's kind of what this entire shelf is. It's just various shows, DVD, Blu-ray, um, and, and things like that that I have over, over the years. So that's kind of where a lot of this stuff comes from. Um, and various other related things, just anime and stuff, some DVDs. Then there's like the Marvel Cinematic Universe down here. And then some... Uh, digipacks and box sets. The rest of the digipacks and box sets are down here of like the normal standard Blu-rays. So anyway, then we got our friend Groucho Marx who's got a new face, which I love, the Radiance film bag. Um, this thing that blocks my closet. And then we have up here, we've got a camera uh, from my grandma. That's from the 50s. I really love that thing. Uh, then a Grogu and the Willem Dafoe's hat. Followed by, you know, um, some various action figures which we'll go through, but here's the Screen Factory section, right, um, all the way down here uh, to Shop Select into Kino Lorber, right? There's Black Phillip hanging out, some more Kino Lorber films, some Kino Lorber titles into um, Paramount Presents lines, and then some Warner Archive, which is the rest of it to round it up. So as we're moving out here a little bit more, you can tell there's Pan, um, you know, Pan, the creature with no eyes from Pan's Labyrinth, uh, and Black Phillip. But as you can tell, there's different um, posters here on this side. El Grande Silencio, Robocop, The Lighthouse, uh, American Werewolf in London, Five uh, Venoms, One Armed Boxer, True Romance is in the corner, followed by Drive, Monty Python, and The Holy Grail. And then we have In Bruges up here. And then, of course, we have The Thing and then Pan's Labyrinth. So moving back over here, we, this is the boutique um, you know, set right here. I'm just going to kind of do a grand view here. At the top is the Criterions, right? Um, although all the way up to the right is Radiance Films titles. Um, and going all the way down is Indicator, um, Second Sight. We have Arrow Video, Eureka titles. Uh, and then we have various um, boutique labels down below like 88 Films, Umbrella, BFI, Vinegar Syndrome's in the very corner, uh, etc. And then there's some books down there. Followed by Paddington, you know, the Groucho Marx, um, Harpo, and Chico. Um, little figures but yeah I'll just kind of show you this real quick there's the um, you know Radiance films that I have and then there's some some nice box sets from Criterion uh, and there's some tape measure <laughs> clearly I'm still doing stuff in here um, and then there are numbers of Criterion titles this is in, in years you know going chronologically all the way down here probably see a little bit of a glare some um, Indicator titles, some big box sets here. Um, the tail end of that, Criterion stuff, and then we like moving down here, do some more indicator titles all the way at the very end. All the way goes over here to these fellas, and then we have some some second sight box sets, which I love. And then we have Eureka titles, which are all right here. Uh, Eureka box sets, Paddington, uh, some Arrow video stuff followed by Aero Academy and some other various box sets here that I have, Criterion, or uh, 4Ks of them. And then as you can tell down here, there's different various things like, like I said, BFI, Network, um, Umbrella, you know, Mubi, etc., imprint, uh, films, you know. So as you can kind of tell, there's just various things here, Cohen Media, things like that. Then the Brain Necker Syndrome's all the way over there in the corner when various um, other, you know, um, partner labels and then some books but yeah overall this is the new space so um, we're gonna be doing more stuff in here and having a good time so let's go back to the very uh, beginning of the footage so there you have it that is my new space oh, what I'm gonna be doing is gonna be filming more stuff in here more stuff in there uh, and just doing various things so uh, let me know what you think of the space yourself um, what can I do for um, you know those blank spots on the wall figuring out if I want posters there or whatnot I'm just trying to figure out stuff um, yeah, there's still more to come. There's a lot more to come, and I'm, I'm really excited uh, to dive into these spaces and finally feel like I have another, you know, home, finally, again. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like, comment down below, share, hit the notification bell, subscribe, and I will see you next time.
I'm not jonesing around.